Welcome to A Magical Life, Health, Wealth and Weight Loss. I'm your host, Magic Barclay, Lead Practitioner at Holistic Natural Health Australia and number one best-selling author. In this podcast, I aim to give you practical tips on how to accelerate and sustain your health, increase your financial, spiritual and emotional wealth and to look at something that haunts many of us needlessly, weight loss. In some episodes, I'll have guests available to give you even more tips, but in others, the floor is yours. Drop us a line at A Magical Life Podcast on Facebook and let me know what you would like to know more about. Now, sit back and enjoy, because it is time for you to create and truly discover a magical life. Welcome back to A Magical Life. I'm your host, Magic Barclay. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Casey Myers. Dr. Casey is an Army Operation Iraqi Freedom War veteran living with PTSD. She decided to study psychology to help her community and other veterans to overcome struggles as she had overcome her own. She earned herself a bachelor's degree in applied management with an emphasis in psychology. She's faced all sorts of adversity, including her mother trying to kill her, abandonment issues, leaving Christianity and religion, divorce, being single with two kids, six years plus of celibacy, multiple surgeries and life-threatening illnesses, yet surviving each and growing in the process. Currently, Dr. Casey is non-religious, but a licensed ordained minister. She's a certified life, sex and love coach, specializing in total life enhancement and a published author with audiobooks and workbooks designed to help readers develop their faith, their self-love, sexual satisfaction and discover purpose. She also covers relationships, spirituality, minus religion, sex, and the root of behavior patterns. There is no topic off limits as long as Dr. Casey has the knowledge to help someone grow. Her goal is to shift the world one person at a time, uniting in love, light, and wisdom. Welcome, Dr. Casey. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming on. Now, what a bio. What where would you like to start? I mean, it's it's really up to you. My story is very full, so we probably won't be able to address everything. However, I'll get as much in as possible. No problem. So, a war veteran, let's start there. What got you into the armed services? Well, I joined the army a couple of months um, after my mom tried to kill me, she literally attacked me. And it was a very strange time period of my life. I was um, 16, turning 17 when my mother attacked me. And uh, from there, I literally was homeless. I stayed with a relative who had someone at her house who introduced the idea of the military to me. And um, within the nine months following the incident with my mom until I joined, I just experienced enough life to tell me, hey, I needed to redirect myself. So I played on the Army's phone for a few weeks. And eventually I got the courage to speak to somebody and they convinced me that it was a good idea and it worked. And I'm guessing you've seen a lot, experienced a lot, and we might delve into that in another episode, but it's kind of led you to where you are today. And so tell us about how what you do helps people accelerate their health. Well, currently and for the last seven or eight years, what I've done is provide community based information. Right now, it is on an online platform where you can actually go listen to videos and podcasts of me talking about various subjects. But so I started really using social media to reach out to people. I would see people in need, whether they were suffering from grief of a loss or um, of a loved one or from divorce or any other life experience. And I would always want to add encouraging words. 
in addition to that, I was developing at the time. I didn't know that I was developing a book, but it just sounded like it was something that would impact the world. So every time I came up with a theory while healing myself, I would throw it out there to other people and say, hey, so I was thinking about this theory and I think that this might be able to help you tell me if it applies. And all the time that I would give people the information, it would work. It would help them to unlock and uncover and discover things about themselves and their purpose. Um, It has helped people to stay married, get married, or reconnect um, old relationships. Um, The work that I do is geared towards community-wise. It's about providing general information that helps people to grow beyond their current circumstance, no matter where they are. My goal is to take millionaires to billionaires, billionaires to trillionaires. If you're a hundredaire, I want you to be a thousandaire. If you live in an apartment, I want you to own a house. If you desire to do those things, it's to take you to the next level. So my whole purpose and goal is giving people the information that can help them advance. I'm a resource so that other people can get plugged into God as the original source. So I see myself really as a vessel of God, because if I feel something intuitively, I share it with other people and hope that they are in tune with God in a way to where whatever it is that I feel, it will make sense to them. And so why do you think people are not in tune with themselves? What's the key finding that you have stumbled across working with people? The biggest dilemma that I believe in working with people is the fact that people are generally dismissive and in denial about their issues. They are used to being told to either act like it never happened. So like when you talk about most religious um, settings tell you to deny the bad parts of you instead of learning to love and grow and really Um, get to understand why you have whatever bad qualities you might have to get you to understand um, what makes you operate and move the way that you do because everything is based in behavior patterns. So if you can understand how you begin to um, project certain behaviors, you can grow yourself and grow the world around you tremendously. Now, we talk about wealth here. We're not just talking financial, but also emotional and spiritual wealth. So what would be your top three tips to creating any type of wealth? The first thing um, and the reason why I am so stuck on soul growth and healing um, at the core level is because it doesn't matter how much money you obtain, if your soul is in disarray, then you will find yourself in a sunken place. Now, that can be a spiritual sunken place. It can be a mental sunken place. It can be a physical sunken place. But the first and key core thing with any type of wealth is to um, begin to heal and address your soul so that you can sit with yourself, so that you can trust your own ideals, so that you can understand the path that you are on and why you're on it. So you won't continue to make the same mistakes. So once you lock into your purpose, the next thing um, which ties into locking into your purpose is really truly loving and accepting yourself because it is hard to obtain wealth if you're always balancing what's important to you based on somebody else. So if you are always looking to please others, if you are always looking to compete, if you are always feeling insecure within yourself, so you feel like you got to can um, be better than the next person, then in that situation, you will end up really hurting yourself because you'll spend unnecessary money trying to uh, impress people that really don't care or really may not even be paying you attention. The last thing is diligence. Um, in order to really obtain wealth, spiritual wealth, um, health, wealth, Uh, financial wealth, you have to be diligent. You have to really decide within yourself and then follow through with taking the risks, having faith and walking out what you believe your purpose is, no matter what comes your way. 
Now we talk about weight loss here, Dr. Casey, and Mm -hmm. many people needlessly battle with their weight, maybe their perception of self, it may be not loving themselves. And I know that you talk about sex and love in a lot in your work. How can you tie what people see on their outer shell with what's inside them? And and how can you help people go through that process? So one of the best books that I read was a book by Doreen. She works with, or she used to, I think she caught a hold of religion and now she has kind of denounced all of her angelic work. But she had a a book about angels. And in that book, it talked about how when we are not using our spiritual gifts, it can manifest within ourselves. So a person that may have a strong intuition and they're not helping people, then it can cause them to carry more weight. It can cause them to be more depressed. It can cause them to seek the gratification that they need from fulfilling their purpose within food. Sometimes it's not just food, though. Sometimes your weight issues could be thyroid disorder. And um, a lot of times, because your thyroid and your metabolism is something that people don't put two and two together, a lot of people don't realize that they have thyroid issues. Personally, I deal with Graves' disease, which means my metabolism is extremely fast. Um, I had to get radiation treatment for them to slow my metabolism down and kind of try to shrink my thyroid, but then it left me to where my metabolism goes too slow. Normally with a person with a low functioning thyroid, and I am not trying to diagnose anyone, but this is me just giving you information about some things that can play a a effect on your weight. When you have a low functioning thyroid, you gain weight. It means your metabolism isn't going or keeping up with the amount of food that you take in. So some weight issues can be from a lack of exercise or too much food, but some are medical issues that really have to go and be addressed. And sometimes when you're dealing with your thyroid or an autoimmune disorder, they may not really be able to understand what it is at first, but you have to be persistent. So a part of health being wealth and managing weight You have to go and be seen so that you can know what is going on with your body. That doesn't mean take on everything that they say. That doesn't mean believe whatever reports that they give if they're negative. But you need to know what's going on so that you know how to adjust. Um, Another thing is uh, blood type. Your diet should be somewhat based on your blood type. Again, I am not a clinical physician, so I'm not telling you what to do. I am just giving you some tips that you can take back to your physician that may be able to help you. The other thing is mental. Some of it is just discouragement. People sometimes, again, have suffocated their gifts so much to where they don't even know how to be themselves. They have been led. I don't want to say astray, but they have been led by the voices of the people around them to where they don't even know who they are. So even if they wanted to get in better shape. It would take a lot of self-love and really redirection of their own mentality about themselves. Because if you look around, there are people that are overweight, that have amazing amount of confidence. And then there are people that are extremely skinny and don't have confidence, but skinny does not equate to healthy. And I think that is the best and the biggest thing that I can say is Skinny does not equate to healthy. Just because you're skinny does not mean that you're healthy. So don't allow the numbers on the scale to make you feel some type of way. Really take a minute and ask yourself, do you feel healthy? Do you have energy? And how can you go about increasing those things? It could be a slight change in diet. Maybe you don't need as much fast food if you can cook at home and then cooking at home will save you some money too. So it is a way to get around everything. But the first thing is learning yourself, go get a physical, understand what's going on with your body so that you know what you need to work on. The last and the most simplest thing that you could do, walk 30 minutes a day and you will begin to see changes in your body. Very, very well said. Now. 
we've kind of covered the basic three questions. I want to go back to your bio and something that you said was that you're an ordained minister but non-religious. People are probably wondering how does that work? So here in the United States, um, becoming an ordained minister gives you the ability to marry people. Um, It also gives you the ability to be a pastor of a congregation, but church is not necessarily, it's religious, but it doesn't have to be. There are different variances of religious services. Now, when I say I'm not religious, this is just to clarify that I am not Christian. Although I believe in Jesus and there are some aspects of the Bible that I definitely support. I also believe in the history that can be proven from documentation that the Bible can't support, doesn't support, or oftentimes leads back to an Egyptian story that has been distorted so that the Bible seems more legitimate than other things. So as a spiritual leader um, who develops books and coaches people on spirituality as a human, this is where I fit into the realm of an ordained minister. I also have dreams and I'm very intuitive. So in that realm of life and light, it fits perfectly. My goal is 100% soul completeness. That means sexuality. That means spirituality. That means um, understanding your quote unquote demons. That means getting acquainted with your weaknesses instead of denying things that most religions tell you to deny or act like doesn't exist or you know, the magic wand of the blood or a name or something else that is supposed to mentally make things go right um, isn't realistic. It isn't really sound as far as healing because avoiding things doesn't make them go away. So my goal is to help people to address every aspect of being human so that you can really live a full and fruitful life. That sounds very interesting. Now, Dr. Casey can be found at Instagram at Speaking Freedom, on Twitter, Speaking Freedom, and on the web, speakingfreedomtv.org. What can the listeners find when they go to your website? Well, I have um, the website, the speakingfreedomtv.org, will take you to all of my content where I have over 10 seasons about 20 episodes each season of content varying from spirituality, religion, sexuality. Well, I don't know if I talk about sexuality as much just yet, but those um, those episodes are coming. I talk about a little bit of everything in these first 10 seasons on Speaking Freedom TV. Now, if you go to speakingfreedom.org or edu-freedom.org, then there you can find merch and information about my business and about me as a person. But I really try to forward people to the episode so that you can really get tapped straight into the content. I am not right now taking one-on-one clients, but soon I will and that, that information will be readily available as well. Fantastic. Now we like to offer the listeners freebies here, Dr. Casey. So what freebie can you offer and where can they find that? So right now, everything on Speaking Freedom TV is actually free. I do have some subscription-based content coming out soon. But right now, my biggest goal is to help as many people as possible. So I all of the episodes that you will find on Speaking Freedom TV, 30 minutes, hour long, it is all free content so that it can be consumed and used for your benefit. Very generous indeed. So that's speakingfreedomtv.org. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Casey. I would love to talk to you more in our next episode, if that's okay. Yes, I would love to be for our next episode. Fantastic. This was your episode 172 in 173. Dr. Casey Myers will rejoin us and we will talk all things certified life sex and love coaches like to talk about so that will be a very juicy episode listeners thank you for your time go forth and create your magical life 
Thanks for listening today. Please subscribe to hear future episodes, leave a review and share this podcast. You can follow us on Facebook at A Magical Life Podcast or at Holistic Natural Health Australia. That's holistic with a W. You can find us on Instagram at Holistic Natural Health or at www.holisticnaturalhealth.com.au. That's where you'll access all sorts of articles, freebies and more.